Is there only one response to change in the face of uncertainty? Is your only choice to adapt? Stay tuned to learn the four options you have for change during uncertainty, upheaval, and crisis. Hello, I'm Randy Pennington. Welcome back. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to never miss new content just as soon as it's released. Also, please share this with your friends and other leaders in your organization. Give us a like and comment with your ideas and questions. I appreciate it. We're 10 weeks into the COVID-19 crisis, and I know it seems like years. Links to my videos about leading in crisis that I've posted over the past few weeks are in the description below. And as I've been speaking with individuals and groups about how they come out of this crisis, I'm noticing that most leaders realize that things must and will change. That's a good thing. And most of them are also saying the key is to adapt or pivot, which is sort of a good thing, but really not enough. This video shares levels of change leadership, and it also gives you the four options for change you must utilize when there's a high degree of uncertainty like there is today. I shared four overall options for change in a video posted on January 20, 2020, which was weeks before anyone realized that the coronavirus was anything other than a regional problem in China. As a quick review, the first option for change is to adapt. This is basically the way we've always thought about change. It's adapt or die. And adapting helps you survive a crisis. But the only way you can turn that approach into a sustainable advantage is to do it faster and better than your competitors. Otherwise, you're just keeping up. A second option is to anticipate change. Now, this is looking ahead to prepare for what might come next. Anticipating makes it easier to adapt if a change comes to fruition, but it still might not be enough to give you a competitive advantage over time. The third option is pursuing change. This means searching out what's possible to both prevent and create either a disruption or a strategic advantage. And the fourth option is to ignore change. You see, it's easy to follow the latest bright, shiny object, but that doesn't mean you should make a change just because you can make a change. Understanding and mastering these four options for change are especially important when there's a high degree of uncertainty and upheaval in the world. This chart shows two primary considerations when dealing with change, predictability and speed. In a level one environment, things aren't moving particularly fast and the next steps are very predictable. Level two change adds speed to the mix. You have to run further and faster, even when you're running as far and as fast as you can. Level three changes are things that move more slowly but are very unpredictable. Now, this type of change can be very frustrating unless you've anticipated its arrival and can quickly respond. And then we get to level four change. This is a low degree of predictability or high uncertainty, if you will, and a fast rate of change. This is the ultimate new next environment where constant change and disruption occur on a regular basis. It's a world where things don't stay still long enough to ever develop a sense of normalcy. And it's where we exist right now. In a level four environment, you have to adapt, anticipate, and pursue. You also have to determine which changes to ignore. And you have to do all of these at the same time. For instance, there are processes, guidelines, and procedures that you need to adapt to respond to the environment as it is today. And that could be continuous improvement efforts that need to continue to make you more efficient and effective. There's also a need to adapt faster. For instance, companies are implementing five-year digital transformation plans in a matter of months because of the need for speed. Then there are potential changes you need to anticipate. 
Larry Fink, CEO of the financial investment giant BlackRock, recently spoke to the clients of a private investment management firm. And one of the things he mentioned is that the corporate tax rates could increase from 21% to 29% here in the U.S as we come out of this recession. Now, that's fairly high on the unpredictable scale because everything really depends on the results of the 2020 elections here in the US. And no one knows for sure how that's going to turn out. But it's also a relatively slow change. Nothing is going to even be considered until January 2021 at the earliest. And even then, this change won't immediately be enacted into law. Nevertheless, you need to watch and anticipate. And finally, there are changes you should actively pursue and those you should ignore to position you for the future. Pursuing and ignoring change both require a mix of anticipation, strategic decision-making, courage, and the ability to remain focused. So here's what I want you to do. Make a list of all the changes that you need to make to adapt to what you know is happening right now. And these could be operational processes you must adopt and adapt to make your business safe, for instance. Then make a list of the things you need to monitor to anticipate change in the future. This could be trends and regulatory changes that you want to monitor just in case they happen. And from this group, get rid of any of those potential changes you should ignore. And finally, make a list of the changes that are potential game changer ideas that you might want to pursue. And then from this group, evaluate every entry based on these criteria. Will it move you toward your vision? Will it advance the long-term interest of your customers and the business? And Will it help you advance your values and sustain your culture? Once you have that done, you can prioritize and get to work on those that make the cut. Succeeding in a level four change environment isn't just about adapting faster or better. You need to anticipate, pursue, and ignore. Remember, the heroes in every marketplace are known by their results and leaders are known by their ability to positively influence others. Now is the time to lead. I'll see you next time.